and tons of gold crypto investing where you like, subscribe, and share for a one of a kind. Probability face trading alert, technical analysis, and company philosophy as I'm your most trusted source for blockchain technology and cryptocurrency breaking news and coin updates here on YouTube and in the cryptocurrency you know, as old Vincenzo was brought back truth and most importantly integrity back into the trading you know, right and I hope you all like our new uh, logo that uh, a compadre of mine has just put together and it's flashing right now right and I hope you guys like it I think it looks great and it really adds to the character into the style and gravitas Oh, that's right, old Vincenzo used an old-time word, gravitas. What is your least favorite word, gravitas? It's that Frankenstein's all grunting and going and raw, right? But I hope you like that. Flashing right there real quick. But you can see Bitcoin. Now, what we've done, well, you see Bitcoin's in that range right now, right? This is really critical. Look what's going on right now. As I got a badge out of here real quick. Hold on a second. Not too bad. Just another one of my thousand trips in and out. <laughs> As you can see, what we're looking at right here is you got to pay attention. Take notes. Get your notepads out. Uh, turn on them glass. Turn on them hearing aids. Flip them reading glasses on. And see that trading range with the major volume indicator right there? These two candles right here where the white support box is. Notice this. We've had this constricting uh, area where we have the first black circle there where we got trapped and we got rejected again. And now you notice we had a lower high, we had, a, we had that pump, then we had a dump. Then we had a pump, but a lower high, right? Let's get our industry exclusive for this, very important. Pump, dump, consolidate, pump, but lower high than there, right? Then a big dump again, but supported in the same general area. Then another pump, and got rejected right on that blue ring. That's why these lines are here. They've been here for Essentially, ever since I started this channel, because we just draw them out into the future and then keep playing them. And you can see it got rejected right there. I got it. Ah, sorry, I dropped something. You see that? And it got rejected at that the blue fib circle and the orange fib circle has been up for been support and resistance, right? But notice how when it pumped here, it was lower than this high, lower than this high, right? And then on your way down, you had your low, then a lower low, and a lower low, and now stuck in the stagnant, declining consolidation with volume that's essentially dying. Uh, this could be a telltale sign that if we look over here now that we know that at the dollar index, how we've been correlating and linking this to the dollar. The dollar's having a huge rally this week, right? Look at the dollar. It broke out on that support zone that we had right there. See that? We had this arrow back here, but we moved it to here just to keep it so you could see it. It bounced off that support in black right there, hit that blue fib circle over there in the first black circle by the 200 day, and now we've pumped up above that, and we were trading in this consolidation, and now we're trying to break out of this consolidation to the upside, and that could be making another run at this regional high. We'll put another little black circle up there at about the 105, uh, 105 mark, right? And now that we see this pump, you can see – the dollar's pumping almost uh, three quarters of a percent today, and since the start of the week, it's up on the week uh, almost two percent, which is a big move in the dollar. And you can see the stock market. Uh, gold's not really going down with that, so that's showing the mining stocks were getting hit today. But I think this is a good buying opportunity in the mining stocks, right? I've actually added to my B2 gold, Fortuna Silver, and I added a little bit to AEM too, right? Because I was down. And it's down, so I added a little bit to that. I've used this dip as an opportunity to add into B2 gold for two and a silver and uh, AEM because they're down about 20% from about a month ago. So I thought it was a great time to add in a little bit. And then if you look at the stock market, obviously the stocks are going down today, right? Why are the stocks going down? Because the dollar's going up. If the dollar goes up, the stock market goes down because that means your dollar is strengthening in comparison to the things in the United States, stock market, right? Uh, Unfortunately, oil's still going up, but oil would be even higher if the dollar was falling right now. So you see that, and that's why I think Bitcoin could have a nice fall. I think you're going to end up coming back. I mean, you could always come up. That's always an option, but it's looking more and more like the next move down is going to breach this white support zone and maybe make a run at the bottom right here. You see that? That's the last line right there of buyers 
before you would come down to your flash low to try to find some major support. But that's a 17% move down in this consolidation. And that's what I'm watching out for right now is I think we have a big move. That's right. A big move coming in crypto. Could it be to the upside? Absolutely, it could be to the upside. But I think it's going to be, even if you have an initial move up, I think there's going to be a big move to the downside as soon as you break this white support zone, right? Lock that, put it more into the future. But I think uh, unless the dollar crashes this afternoon, I think this is getting ready to have a big fall like this. And then this could be a great buying opportunity like here, 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 and back there and the swing trading. But I think you're coming back down there. And this is going to be a critical spot when you come into here because if you crash, you're going to come all the way down to that double bottom that was at about $25,000. So we're going to circle this whole area right here as a Vincenzo. We haven't done one of these in a while, but this is exclusively to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. And this is a Vincenzo Watch Alert. That's right. We used to have these all the time. We haven't had one of these in a while, but this is an industry exclusive Vincenzo Watch Alert as a possibility of when we get down into this area, uh, there's a possibility of a big fall if you can't hold that area, right? And you can see it's almost like a descending triangle down here, right? See that? If we use that, you've got white support box and then these previous highs. See that? I like to use point to contact at least three. And then you come down here and you can see it's almost forming a descending triangle. And that would be where I would look for that next move. I'm watching for it to come down to that uh, 29,095. And that's going to be a major decision zone. Uh, right along that orange ring and bottom part of that orange support zone, right right back here by this volume indicator. This is a major area, the volume indicator. That's why you've been stuck in this range, because there's a lot of sellers up here. There's a lot of buyers down there, right? There's a lot of volume traded in here. So the price is trying to beat these out, and it's got to make up its mind. But if you slip that, you're not. that's why you came all the way down here. If you slip this area, you don't really have any more buyers, right? you got to come all the way down to double bottom and then hope there's buyers sitting there on the order book, right? So that's what I'm watching out for right now in the Bitcoin. Uh, what else do we got? Let's look at the gold. We haven't talked about gold in a while. You can see B2 gold. I did add to my position, right? We go to the daily time frame. You can see we've been in a big consolidation. But what we did have for a long time, about 10 months, we have what looks like uh, a head and shoulders topping reversal pattern up here. We had a left shoulder, a head, and then a right shoulder. And then if we do a targeted move out of that, right, you'd go from the top of the head to the neckline, top of the head to the neckline, come on, to the point of a breakout. And you can see that got you right down there to uh, where you're at now. And that's your technical target out of that move. So we fulfilled that head and shoulders topping reversal, right? And then now it looks like we were almost in a falling channel, the way we were making the, the, to complete that pattern targeted move, right? You see that? And then you got... You got your, uh, if we clone this, you got yours on the other side right here. See that? That was almost a falling channel. And then now what it looks like you got, when you tried to break out, we got a little bit of a volume spike. And then you came down, came up, came down, came up. What does that look like? It looks like a W or a double bottom reversal pattern, a W reversal or a double, a bottom, double bottom reversal pattern. Now you're coming back to the moving averages. Sometimes they even come back down for a triple and then come up. But this could be a double bottom reversal pattern. And if you can hold this, a targeted move would be from the bottom of the move to the top of the technical neckline to the point of a breakout. And that gets you all the way back up here, maybe starting another leg to the bull run. Because if this is a breakout of a falling channel, the technical target is the top of the channel, which is all the way up here at $7, just about $7 even. So I have added to my position. I have about, what do I got? Uh, 275 plus 500. So I got almost eight, five, six, seven, shy of eight, just shy of 800 shares of B2 gold. I've been buying it all over the place, but my average cost is just about where the price is now because I bought a lot of dips, right? I started buying B2 gold back here, and then I bought this dip, I bought that dip, I bought that dip, and now I'm buying this dip, right? So my average price is essentially right in this area. And I think this is going to be a phenomenal gain, and it does pay almost four percent yield a year. So you get you get eighteen or sixteen cents a share, right? So if you have a thousand shares, uh, you'll get one hundred and sixty dollars a year in dividends plus your capital appreciation if it goes up, right? 
So that's what we're watching out for. Could this go down? Absolutely, if there's a big liquidity crunch. Uh, but I think this is going to be primed and ready eventually to go up. So I just keep accumulating because I have I, this is a stout company, and I feel very good about it. Uh, if we look at some of the other ones that I own, uh, Fortuna Silver. It, the Fortuna doesn't pay a dividend, so it's a more highly speculative, and they move very quick. And what you want to do is you want to buy them under low, right? You want to buy them down there. You want to buy them in there. You want to buy them in there, and you want to buy it down here, right? And I buy the dips in this, and then I try to ride rallies, right? So this is one that I bought again, and I'm going to hold it for a little while and see what happens, right? And then I'm going to keep adding to it because I think Fortuna and Silver is a solid company and it's very cheap. Yes, it could go down, but I think four or five years from now, I'm going to be doing quite well on this, right? Maybe even sooner. And then another one that I have, I didn't add any to this, but I actually should add to this. Japan America Silver, I think it's a phenomenal company. They also pay about a 2.5% dividend yield, right? So you make 2.5% on your money a year, whether it goes up or down, plus capital appreciation meaning if the stock goes up, and you can see right now, let's go, this one's been trading for a long time, let's go to the monthly, and you can see our volume indicator here, let's mark this chart up, this is a little class, here's what I do when I put my chart up, right, let's get rid of that, so what I like to do is I go into here with my little rectangle, this is a trading view, this could almost be a tutorial right here, I got to get my tutorials off, I just been so busy at work, we got our major volume area of trading right here, so if you're on the top side of this, this is going to act as support, right? And I always keep these in white. Whenever you see these in white, that means that's my volume area. So this is your major mean of the volume and pretty much the mean of the price, right? You've been equally up and below it, and it always comes back to the mean. But uh, that's your area. If you're above it, you're bullish. If you're below it, you're going to be bearish, right? Because if you come back up to it, it's going to act as resistance, right? But when you're coming down to it, it's going to act as support. And this is what I'm looking at right now. You can see we're right here. See that area right there where we got supported? That's your last area where the buyers could be to pump you back up, and it initially did and got you back into the supply zone, but it sold back off. See that right there? And now it's coming back into this area. If you don't hold this, you're most likely coming down to $18, and that's a phenomenal buying opportunity, right? If you haven't bought or ever – if you don't own any of this company, I think it's a great – I mean, you get, I mean, it's down 51% from a tie. So even if it goes down another 50%, on a catastrophic flush and it's sitting down here at $11, you bought it 50% off, just double down on it, right? Because this company is not going bankrupt and this company eventually will be up there. So this is another one that I slowly accumulate over time on good buying opportunities. And then I stick it away. Don't worry about it. And I got a 20 year plan because if you're going to buy stocks as a long-term investor, you want to give it 10 to 20 years, right? To play out in case you buy it in a bad market cycle and the company's good, but a bad market cycle like where you got hostility in the marketplace like right now, it gives the company, a good company like this one, time to work itself out of it, have the economy stabilize and the stock price to appreciate all the while while they're paying you a dividend to hold. I think this is a phenomenal company, and I didn't tell you guys to buy it at $40, $50, right, when it was up here. I didn't tell you to buy it up there at 44 or, well, well I wasn't even talking to you back then, or over here. I've been, I'm telling you guys to start buying on the dip. Now, if it gets down into the supply zone down here, I'm going to be buying a lot more, and I would recommend you guys start adding some of these, although I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I play one on my own radio show. This is strictly mm, uh, education targets. This y'all on trading alert of Nintendo money and my own personal opinions on the market and what I'm doing and what I'm seeing. I would highly uh, consider if I were in, in, in the gold and silver mining sector, if this gets into the supply zone down here, you, you got to buy. You just got to accumulate. Start accumulating now, even if it goes down. Don't go all in. If you got 10000 to accumulate in mining stocks, don't put it all in right there. Put 10% in right there and watch it. And if it spikes up, it's going to go back down again, right? It doesn't just go way up to the moon and never retrace. So I would, I, would, I would start accumulating in the mining sphere if I were you guys out there in my audience. Not all. I know you guys love the cryptos, and that's great. Have your crypto portfolios. But put 5% of your trading long-term investing into the mining sector, a little bit into the oil sector, and then go buck wild with crypto. But don't have it all in crypto. you got to have some in some of the other sectors, right? The gold sector, the commodity sector, the oil sector, right? Even stocks. There's going to be great stock buying opportunities for long-term holds as this financial crisis plays out. 
and some of these stocks come back towards earth that are great companies but get caught up in a bad market, and there's going to be great buying opportunities. The same with crypto on some of the better projects. As this crypto winter continues, there's going to be phenomenal buying opportunities. And this is just another coin that I think is a phenomenal buy or another uh, mining stock that I think is a phenomenal buying opportunity. As you do know, my portfolio consists of Kinross Gold, GPL, Pan America Silver, AEM, uh, Fortuna Silver, and B2 Gold. I have an extensive mining collection right in shares, and I'm going to continue to accumulate and stack my mining stocks. And one day, yes, one day, old Vincenzo might get a 5 or a 10 or a 20 bagger out of this with all my dividends, and I might turn 10 or 15,000 invested into 100 or 200,000, right? So that's what we're looking at. That's what I'm thinking. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love. Peace and love.